with this knife. If this fish is radioactive, it is from the water he has been in. But we've been all over the surface too. But underneath. On the bottom. The currents from upstream someplace. A thousand possibilities underwater. Yeah. Could be. And that cooks us. Till we grow fins. A fortune waiting for us down there and we can't get at it. Fred! Who says we cannot go fins? Remember the skin diver we meet at Silver Springs? He has his own fins. Yeah. Of course, that guy Nelson. Maybe he will come in on the deal, huh? Let's try it. Now, radiation is something I'm not very familiar with. There's practically no risk at all, Mike. You see, the uranium in the ore deposits isn't concentrated enough. The danger comes when you start to refine it. Wasn't even strong enough to hurt that fish. What about that uh, river bottom along there? You know anything about it? Not too much. I understand there's a lot of underground springs that feed in through the caves and the rocks. The channel's about 20 or 30 feet deep. Pretty shallow along the riverbank. How'd you happen to pick that uh, riverbank anyway to, uh, to prospect? Well, the clay shows traces of uranium. A lot of people had it assayed, but it wasn't strong enough to make it commercial. I'm just as sure as I live that nobody's come to the real concentration because it's right down there at the river bottom, wherever that fish came from. Well, it certainly sounds intriguing. Kind of like to be a part of all this. Does this mean you will come with us, Mr. Nelson? Well, a third of the profits could mean a lot of money, boy. Me, everything I owned, I put into it. I believe in it that much. I might try it for a couple of weeks. That might be long enough if we organize it scientifically. <laughs> you come with us and you can organize it any way you want to. When do we start? Tomorrow morning early enough? Not for Fred. I'll settle for that. <laughs> we fitted the Geiger counter into a waterproof container. That is, we hoped it was waterproof. We made inquiries and studied maps of the area as if we were going fishing. We could hear the clicks through the case. Our Geiger counter was waterproof. It worked as well underwater as it did above, clicking all the time. It works! Best knife I ever had. <laughs> I worked underwater with a Geiger counter, carefully and systematically covering one area after another. It was hard, tedious work, day after day, but I didn't find anything. Boy, he's sure taking his good-natured time. So? You know something? He could pull a real fast one on us. 
Fred, 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 he is a nice fellow. He is not going to pull anything on us. He could find a dozen hot spots down there and not let us know. Just like in the Westerns, huh? He's going to gallop into town and file a claim before we can get there. Yeah, exactly. Three-thirds is better than one-third in anybody's book. Not in an honest man's. Yeah, you're too simple-minded. Boy, I sure wish I could listen in down there. The monotony of the search and the long effort without any sign of success wore out our enthusiasm and we began to get on each other's nerves. Yeah, I think I'll knock off for a couple hours, going to town. Why? Uh, see if I got any mail. You're expecting something important? Yeah, an answer to a letter that I wrote about a job that's coming up. I asked and postponed it for a while until I uh, finish with you fellas. How long do you think that'll take? Well, uh, we only have a couple of streams to check. Uh, small ones, I think, only take about uh, two days at the most. And you're through with us, huh? You are forgetting, Fred. Mike's two weeks is up yesterday. Shut up and keep out of this. What do you mean, shut up? Hey, now, wait a minute. There's nothing to get excited about. Maybe you think there isn't. Maybe I think there is. Like what? Never mind. I'll go get the mail for you. What's with your buddy, anyway? Forgive him, Mike. He did not mean anything. He doesn't? Are you sure he doesn't think I'm double-crossing him? What about you? You think I'm double-crossing you? No. I do not. And Mike. Fred is a nice fellow. It is this uranium thing. It is like a sickness. A very bad sickness. I kept on looking. Suddenly, I thought I was getting a response. The clicks were getting faster and faster. I was close to something hot. I was so interested in my search that I didn't notice I was sliding into a muddy part of the bottom, like quicksand. The more I moved, the deeper it sucked me in. I had to use my head, and fast. on the other side of the river. Okay. You row.
What's the matter? Did something happen down there? Yeah, a couple of things. But one of them is good. Pry bar. Give me a pry bar. we need now is a bigger sample so we can get it a save. <laughs> yeah, you know, it might just be a rock that's picked up radioactivity from the water around it. But at least we know that it comes from this spring. I think we ought to move camp over on the other side of the river before I dive again. It'll make it a lot easier just to cross the river. Well, we've found it at last, boys. Let's go to work. <laughs> now I suppose there will be no more fishing. We must go to work and, and to come rich. <laughs> Or you object to being rich, yeah? No! I think a rich fisherman can catch as much as a poor one. <laughs> That's us! The three rich fishermen! Together all the way, boys! Right, <laughs> Senator partner. Let's make our money first, huh? You know, I had a little trouble out there. I cracked this casing against a rock. It'll probably leak when I take it down. Gonna have to take it in town and get it fixed. I'll take it in. Well, thanks just the same, but I'll do it. Hey! Why are you so anxious to go to town? I want to see if they do a good job on this. Together, all the way, Fred. Yeah. Henry, fill these tanks for me while I'm away, will you please? Sure. Me and the compressor are all friends by now. Nelson talking about before? Nothing. I, I asked him to order some supplies. We don't need any supplies. Well, we need food. Now that I'm rich, I may give up fishing. Will you cut out the wisecracks and give me a straight answer? What are you and Mike up to? Nothing, Fred. Believe me, nothing. Quit stalling. You had him break that casing on purpose so he could go into town alone and file a claim in his name and yours. <laughs> Didn't you? You break your scanning down! Come on. What's going 
going on here? What's the matter with you, Tuart? All right, Nelson. I'm going to take you first. Well, that's all right with me. But what for? Because I don't like working with liars. That's what's for. Turning on a compressor and making deals in front of me, huh? Deals? It's no use. There is only one way to convince you. Now, easy. I'll show you what kind of a deal we've been making. It's about time you grew up. There. Now, there's your deal. A knife. To replace the one that you dropped in the river. You want to make you a present of it? I'll give it to him the way he deserves. Right between the ribs! Hey, Nelson! Put down that knife. Now we're going to see who's telling the truth. Tie him up, Hank. What? There's the rope. Tie him up good and tight. Move. Both of you. <laughs> And tie up his feet too. And when you get that done, put on his air tank and go down where he brought up that sample and let's see if it was ordinary rock. Me? I can hardly swim, much less dive. That's just the idea. And when you're down there, I know you won't run away. You've been watching him long enough to know how to work that diving stuff. So you're going to bring me up a nice big sample of ore. That mud down there is like quicksand. It'll suck him under in no time. Shut up, Nelson. I'm not letting a fortune get away that easy. Go. On it. Not that way. Back it off. I forgot about the knife, didn't you? <laughs> Go ahead. Start getting into that diamond stuff. <laughs> swim and he was very sensitive to pressure changes if he got into that tricky bottom that caught me there wasn't much chance that he'd ever come up right into that soft mud and sank. He kept struggling and sinking in deeper. Luckily for Henri, the water was crystal clear at that spot. Fred, sitting above in the boat, could see what was happening. He suddenly realized what he was doing, that he was murdering his friend. I need your help. I think he's stuck down there. I see him sort of struggling. I think he's in trouble. I told you that mud had suck him under. Get my other tank. I stopped him before he filled it. I'll have to dive without it. I was hoping that I'd be able to stay down long enough without a diving lung to pull Henri out. I reached for him and he grabbed me in a death grip like a drowning man. I had to pull out his mouthpiece to make him let go. Then I surfaced quickly to get air and to get a line.
Davis. You take the other by the tree and tie it tight. I filled my lungs with air and swam down again to Andre to tie the line to him. surface with the end of the line. Oh! If Fred and I pull together hard, we might still get Henri out. all about hank i could have killed you i'm sorry i'm really sorry yeah, that uranium seems to have a bad effect on you even before you get a hold of it uranium that's what i came out here about mr nelson i saw you in town with that tricked up geiger counter and i finally figured out what you guys are doing out here you're looking for uranium in these streams aren't you yeah that's right did you find any a uh, pretty strong response right over there fellows that isn't uranium that's a trickle of waste from a government atomic plant up north of here. What? We've been looking for it for months. It apparently leaks into one of the underground springs that feeds in here. Uncle Sam will thank you for tracing it. The whole thing. Nothing but a pipe dream. And now, uh, maybe you will give up this wild dream and go back to a normal life, huh? You bet I will, Hank. Well, well, at least I... I got a new knife out of the deal. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for saving my buddy's life. I'm Lloyd Bridges, inviting you to join us for another action-packed story of underwater adventure one week from today.